Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Didn't do so well in the last few runs, so you know what, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm not gonna do an easy mode, a Zazel run or anything like that. Uh, I am gonna take a time to play as a different character though, and I was thinking either Eden or Isaac, I think I'm gonna do Isaac. We've only really used the D6 like once over the course of our entire uh, life so far, I think. Our seed, E, P, F, C, Eels, pretty fucking cool, D, 2, K, C. Don't... 2,000 cook. If you cook 2,000 of them, you're gonna need a big pot and your electricity bill's gonna be through the roof. Let's begin, Isaac, if you don't mind. I like the D6. The nerfed D6 is still extraordinarily powerful, I think. Uh, uh, I, I, it's not as powerful, like, I think it's, if you combine the nerf to the nun's habit, or it's not really a nerf, but, you know, the fact that the nun's habit, uh, works the way it did in version 1.5, which a lot of people didn't even update to because they'd stopped playing the Steam version of vanilla by that point. Um, but if you combine the nerfed, uh, nun's habit with the nerfed D6, it's still very powerful. But if you had that in vanilla, I, like, I can't even go back to that. That's like some you know, great Gatsby level of wealth that I can't even comprehend anymore in The Binding of Isaac. You mean every time you got it, every second time you got a hit, you got a D6 charge? What's up with that shit? That's like, that must have been like what people in the Middle Ages thought when they like saw Roman architecture and were like, How, you're telling me we fucking built that? I don't think so, mate. All right, Hourglass. We as in the human race, I mean. Sure. I mean, we rerolled Hourglass into Gimpy. It's a start. Let's check out what we got in our curse room. Could get a Spirit Heart out of this, or we could just, you know, automatically get a good payout and maybe get a Spirit Heart when we leave, which we did not, but that's okay too. I think the D6 also, like, the, the nerf is great all around for making the item less powerful, and making it less powerful makes it a lot more palatable, I think, to the people uh, out there, because, you know, the main complaint about the D6 runs uh, by the end of Vanilla Isaac was, like, every run ends up being the same. You just reroll the deal with the devil until you get mom's knife or brimstone or guppy and then you just win. That can still happen, of course, in, in Rebirth, but um, you kind of have to make a choice. Like, on, especially on these early floors, you can't really reroll the item room and the boss room or the item room and the deal with the devil. Uh, that was not a good bomb. You have to, uh, you have to make your selection wisely, you know? You're probably only going to get to deal with one. To reroll one, I should say. Unless, of course, you get, uh, you know, like trickle charge, battery, 9 volt, etc., etc. Battery plus D6 seems like an awesome combination. Being able to actually overcharge your rerolls, that was the big problem. The If there is a big problem with rerolls, that's the big problem. You can't really do anything with your charges unless um, you have an item in front of you. Unless you can save them now. Wow, this is uh, very good luck already. Halo, Gimpy, and an extra HP upgrade, all from the first floor. And this is, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm gonna get some momentum under me here. Am I going to go to am I going to go to the uh, the chest or the dark room if you know troll engine willing we're able to get that far into the game? Uh, here's my hunch on that. I, maybe I'll uh, I don't think I'll do a video, but I want to talk more about that as we get like further into the Isaac quote unquote meta. I think the chest is the most fun still because you can get the um, the items, and I think the chest is a little easier than dark room because you can get the items. The the four items oftentimes that can be enough to carry you. Now the chest is still not easy. I also think Blue Baby's a, a little bit easier than the Lamb, but uh, that might just be because I haven't fought the Lamb as much. But, uh, what else? The Dark Room is is a little bit more, I don't know, challenging, basically. So I think if you have, like, if you have the choice, this is Taurus, so good. Um, if you have the choice, I'll probably go to the chest, just because I think it's more fun, because you get the items. But there's value in going to the Dark Room as well. We also need to beat whatever's behind that, that key door on, um on the chest, but we'll knock that out after we fill out all the, you know, post-it notes with the other characters. So I mentioned this in an earlier video, it might have even been the last video, but it might have been the basement seed, which I'm sure that many people did not watch because that's fucking crazy. Wow, that is the quarter. Um, that's good luck. But Taurus, uh, its rage actually charges the more you move. Let's take, uh, we'll take Mom's Purse. You know what, I think we'll take the starter deck as well. Gives us a tarot card to start with. It's the Hermit, which saves us a key in the end. Um, you know what, I will use a bomb. To hopefully get uh, something good out of this red chest. That's good enough. And we can reroll that if we don't want to reroll anything else. Um, but we'll stick with the D6 for now. Anyway, what I was getting at is, um, yeah, the, the more you move with Taurus, that was really bad, uh, the faster you get your rage built up. So that's why it comes with a speed downgrade, I guess, is to you know make it a little bit more annoying for you to move. 
And our, your speed actually gets higher as you as you walk, as you can see here. There we go. So we're going to try to take advantage of that. You know, that item's already good, but knowing what else it can do for you makes it, uh, you know, that much better, actually. Totally going to take Mom's Knife on this one. Sorry, everybody. No question about it. And I think rather than re-rolling Guppy's Paw, we're going to re-roll... No, we're going to take Guppy's Hairball and then re-roll Guppy's Paw so we don't lose so much HP. I think that's... This is the reasonable option here. And it became the Relic. I would say we did pretty well for ourselves here. We're one item away from becoming Guppy. We got Mom's Knife and the Relic and Guppy's Hairball. That's pretty good. So we're not... Uh, we haven't won yet, but oh my god, combined with Taurus, like we're so powerful already. I guess that is the value of the D6 right there. Let's just shoot for our most powerful run of all time. I mean, ostensibly there's like two things I'm trying to accomplish on this run. One of them is, you know, have fun and get my morale back up. The other one is it's a little bit of a, it's a recon mission into the dark room. So I think I am going to go with the dark room. So I can learn a little bit more about those rooms and the patterns that, you know, just get some more experience basically and hopefully find myself a little bit better off as a result. So I think it might even be not even like the, the time that you walk around, but the distance that you walk around that determines when you get the Taurus charge. So I think if we get a, a huge speed upgrade or a number of like somewhat smaller speed upgrades, that could be amazing for us. We'll see though. I appreciate the Spirit Heart. Thank you, Relic. Uh, I will go into our curse room. I hope we don't need to reroll anything. Okay, good start. I do want to reroll that though. Oh, man. I hope we get this also. That's just... A, oh, let's use our Hermit card to save some HP. Um, that's a good lesson to be learned. Now, blank card combined with uh, the starter deck seems like a pretty sweet combo. You could have, like, one offensive card, one defensive card, and then use them as necessary. But I really don't want to get rid of the D6, even though we are already in a powerful position, and the D6 is, is responsible for that, to some extent at least. Hopefully, uh, we have the opportunity to go back and reroll that devil item. But even if we don't, I'm uh, pleased with our situation. Did I open our other chest on the... That was really bad. Did I open our other chest on the chest? If I didn't... Or on the... on the um, Curse room? If I didn't, I'm a very silly individual and I apologize for that. Sometimes when there's a lot on the go here, it's hard to keep things 100% straight. Oh! Come on. We were so close to getting uh, our charge there. Uh, tough love. I'm going to take it. I think occasionally it gives our, our mom's knife ticks more damage. Temperance is pretty good as well. Especially if we can get a nun's habit in the future. So I may end up saving this temperance card. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Maybe. Temperance card plus... Uh, plus blank card could be a whole lot of fun. You're not wrong. But let's not, uh, let's not be too silly yet. Just stick with the norm. We're not like, we're not so far ahead of the game damage wise that we can't have anything terrible happen to us. Meat is absolutely worth picking up and we're gonna reroll Book of Belial. No question about it. Missing page two is not that good, but I'm gonna take it for the evil upgrade. I like it. I like the evil upgrade. Trade a red heart for a black heart. It's probably not a very good deal, but I'll live with it. And you know what? We got a lot of red hearts on this floor. We could have done better here if we had wanted to. Like we could have done, um, you could use Temperance card on a room where we also got Taurus charged up, so we had our Unicorn Horn effect. It's not the Game Kid effect. I always call it the Unicorn Horn, or I always call it the Game Kid effect, but it's technically the Unicorn Horn. As you might expect, we're not going to go with our uh, blank card. I've pretty much made that decision known. Camera's having some hard time catching up with us. That's okay. I'm going to save our money and hopefully use it for, uh, like, battery charges. Something like that in the future. If there is a battery for sale, no, there's not much we can get out of that because we've already taken all the items. All right, smart guy. You think you're so clever? Why don't you come over here and do my taxes for me? You should try that, uh, that tactic in real life. People who are very prideful, and I'm not teaching you how to exploit people here. I'm just giving you some information. People who are very prideful and they like to brag a lot, you know, people who are always like one-upping you. Hey, I got, uh, I got, uh, some meat from the grocery store. Oh, yeah, what'd you get? I got six ribeyes last night. Mmm, the marbling was delicious. It's like, come on, dog. You can oftentimes get them to prove their, uh, their ferocity by challenging their egos. For example, maybe Josh is like, I cook the best barbecue around. You could be like, no way, man. 
I cook better barbecue than you. Then you're like, oh, let's do a grill off. And then you do a grill off and he shows up and he's got some delicious barbecue because he is genuinely very good at it. Um, and then he's you eat it and it's delicious and he says, yeah, what do you say now, motherfucker? What did you bring? And then you say, I didn't, I didn't bring anything. Was I supposed to bring something? I'm sorry. Down to the next floor. And then you just got a free meal. You scanned one of your best friends. Now, do be aware that um, they probably won't be your best friend for long after that. But that's the price you pay to be right sometimes. All right, well, Mega Fatty, oh my god, we're actually, we were slow enough that Mega Fatty, like, almost totally screwed me there. But we're also doing enough damage that we're pretty much sorted regardless. Uh, more spirit hearts, thank you, Relic. This is one of those runs where, ooh, okay. This is one of those runs where we're gonna get stronger as the run goes on just by virtue of having the Relic, if for no other reason, so. Uh, the HP cap should not be an issue, at least temporarily, for us. I so wish that we had a reroll ready here. I've got to remember to get that reroll ready for the... For the curse room. We'll reroll Krampus' head. Oh, thank you, Gimpy. And my hope is that, um... Excuse me? My hope is that by rerolling Krampus' head, we could get any deal with the Devil Lighting, because obviously a guppy pickup here would be, you know, overkill, but also great. Which is how I feel, like, if I could describe, you know, if I went to an Isaac Run restaurant that was run like a steakhouse, and they said, how would you like your Isaac Run? I would say, ridiculous but delicious. Which is also the title of my first, uh, cooking book. And probably my last one. Recipe book, I guess they call it. You know, I've got to admit, new media has made uh, a lot of old media obsolete for me. I'm gonna sneeze here in a second, just, you know, be forewarned if that's something you don't like hearing. I can feel the, the cat hair get... <coughs> That's my superpower. I can feel sneezes coming 15 seconds in advance. Three seconds faster than the average human. That was a really good bit of damage I took there. I'm happy I took that. Um, well, we could get the cartridge game kit effect here. We actually effectively do have the game kit effect and the unicorn horn effect, possibly. But anyway... Um, in a lot, like, I don't really... I, I still kind of like newspapers, to be honest with you. Although... I, I can't imagine why you would ever, you know, uh, want to get your fingers inky while reading them. Like, some people are like, that's the charm. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's the charm. Feels gross, man. But, uh, yeah, I can get down with, like, reading in the physical form. Although, I will say, this is, uh, this is not sponsored content. I have a Kindle Paperwhite. And if you are, like, an avid reader, I'm not really an avid reader, but I, I, I read a lot more now that I have my Kindle. If you're an avid reader, that shit is the bomb. Being able to, like, carry all your books on the go. Um... Let's, let's re-roll this. And I'm not, you know, thrilled to be taking BOGO bombs, but it's it's better than PhD, maybe. It might not even be better, but I thought we'd re-roll it and try for something cooler anyway. I still don't really know shop meta, but either way, there is a battery in there that we can buy for five cents, and that basically gave us a free re-roll anyway. Um, what was I even talking about? Okay, right. Yeah, the Kindle Paperwhite thing. Um, cooking books, or cookbooks, I guess as they're called. Not cooking books. That's, uh, that's how Enron got fucked. Um... You, uh, you know, I, I still really like them. I, I think I liked them more than I did before I, you know, really knew what the internet was. Now I really wish we took PhD, but this is okay. Um, I think it's something with the pictures. I've never been much of a picture book guy. There's something that, you know, a picture next to a recipe that you know was made from the recipe, plus the, uh, the, the credence from being printed kind of gives it a little bit more repute, I think. I'm actually happy to get the wooden spoon because I think that's going to make, uh, Game Kid charge faster. Not Game Kid. Taurus. Which doesn't even give us the Game Kid effect. It gives us the Unicorn Horn. By the way, I do know that we could have gone back and played our Blood Bank a little bit. Probably should have. Spoonbender does work with Mom's Knife. Uh, apparently, it works amazingly with Mom's Knife. Let's give it like a full charge. Oh my god, that's actually beautiful. Doesn't, doesn't work fully the way you would expect, maybe. That's sweet, though. Just, like, watching the knife try to go through this is so good. I would love to get, like, brimstone combined with this so we could shoot, uh, like, uh, an amazing beam of homing knives. That would be sweet as hell. Two tarot cards. Don't mind if I do. I do want to stick with this judgment card because if we do get a deal with the devil, we can make good stuff happen with it. I like it just, like, if you've got enough charge on the, the knife, it'll just teleport to whoever you were supposed to fight to begin with. Or to whoever you wanted to hit to begin with. That's so cool. This is actually a really... It's a neat synergy. It's, it doesn't seem that effective. But it's it's cool nonetheless. I like it. 
I'll like any, any synergy with Mom's Knife as long as it still does damage. Oh, we're really fast right now. We're about to get the Unicorn Horn. And some golden poop. Still have not seen Counterfeit Penny. Probably need to donate a lot more to our shop to make that happen. Which I very much should do. Uh, we're still, like, pretty far behind the eight ball in terms of donations. No question about it. Whoa, okay. Sometimes the homing tier gets a little uh, ahead of itself. Gets a little cheeky. Don't worry about being cheeky. Just do what you do. Yeah, we're getting a much faster charge on uh, our Taurus effect now. That's good. See, learning about... I'm a little bit of a faster learner than I was with uh, Vanilla, I think. I like to think, at least. Nuns have it. A guaranteed pickup. Should donate, but at the same time, um, I kind of want to just get the boss key because we can. Two bombs for four bombs. Well, technically three, plus this chest seems excellent. Make sure we got a way out here. I've made that mistake too many times before. Good. I I'm happy with this. I don't think mom's key is actually, it's not boss key, but I don't think mom's key is actually that good, but I like it, and it gives us some more keys, and you never know when you're going to need more keys. We only had six. It's more than, you know, a lot of times you'd have, but it's not, not an overwhelming amount. If we can't get a battery, then we'll be easily able to, uh, well, that's actually excellent. If we can't get a battery, we'll be able to, uh, Get a couple of rerolls on our boss item, but only one on a deal with the devil, in all likelihood. Pretty surprised I made it out of that, all right. Oh, come on. Wall masters on this room? At this time of year, isolated entirely in your kitchen? You call them wall masters, even though they're quite... You call them feet, even though they're quite obviously hands. Yes. Probably should have saved some cash for this judgment card. TBH. Whatever. Have we been to our item room? No, we have not. We've been to our shop. Now, I, I'll admit, you know, I've got visions of Boss Rush dancing in my head right now. And I feel no guilt towards the game whatsoever. If I can get into that Boss Rush room, take an item, and leave, I'm going to effing do it. Because the game would do that and worse to me if it had the uh, opportunity to do so. Down our Temperance card here. Thank you, Gimpy, for some HP we can't use, but that's okay. Could be a curse room over here. Remember, we're only one goopy item away from actually uh, becoming the Gupster. 13 cents. Item room. Probably, whoa! Uh, probably won't worry too much about uh, the other rooms after we check this one out. This is bad. This is just a bad item. That's all right. Assuming it actually works with uh, Mom's Knife, which I'm assuming it does. Most synergies work. The way you would expect them. All right, money situation's good. I'm content with this. More, uh, more hearts we can't use, thanks to Gimpy. But hey, how can I complain, really? Watch me. Wow, 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 wow! I'm Northern Lion. Oh, I didn't get Mom's knife on the first deal with the devil. Oh, this is a hard run. Oh, I got Mom's knife on the second room. It's about time. Thanks for giving it to me for free. It's the least you could have done. God, what an asshole, right? All right. Depths 2, right? Depths 2. Plenty of time here. I wonder what happens. I was like, if we use Judgment on the Boss Rush Room, that actually seems like a terrible decision now that I think about it. Because I think that would make it so if we took the Judgment item, at least at first, if we took the Judgment item, we wouldn't be able to pick up the other four, any of the other four items, I should say. Um... Lucky me. And also, I, like, that's effectively about as good as, uh, what's our other card, by the way? The Fool. Oh, yeah, we can use that to scam the shit out of this boss rush room. We can even bring in four effing rerolls to that boss rush room if we want to. Oh, we're invincible. This could be fun. All right, so let's fight Mom. What are we taking with us? We're trying to take the negative. What the hell was that homing shot? Weird diagonal shots. Okay, we're invincible. Trying to take the negative. Wait a second. Wait a sec. Good. Trying to take the negative. Then we're going to go into our boss rush room. So there's technology, chocolate milk, little haunt. I, I don't think either of these are that good. Or any of these are that good. Chocolate milk mom's knife could be fun though. So I'll tell you what. I'll take it. And then we'll teleport out. So my thinking is... I really thought that we would be shooting 
like a ton of uh, mom's knives out of this. Instead, I think we've just got a mom's knife with a larger charge time, but probably larger damage as well. Yeah, probably not the the shrewdest decision I've ever made. It's okay though. This is our secret room. Plenty of bombs. I don't think there was what I could have done, and this is an obvious thing, but what I could have done is rerolled it. But if I wasn't gonna reroll it, and I was I was on the fence about it, then I think chocolate milk was the best item to take. Little haunt can be fun, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not too salty about our situation there. Gemini is a sweet pickup, especially if we get permanent invincibility like we should. Of course we get greed, which means I can't actually get uh, any... Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. We can make it, yeah. Which means I can't get any uh, donations done unless there's an arcade on this floor as well. Uh, put a, Oh! So that room, we handled properly, but could have handled it better, I guess. Uh, just faster. Bloody Penny seems to never show up anymore. So I'm going to be, like, super content there. And I'll trade a bomb for a key. I'm not going to trade a key for two bombs, though. I don't think that's that important. But uh, Bloody Penny can be a really, really useful trinket, obviously, if you're planning on playing some Blood Banks. And if I could play some Blood Banks, I would love to play some Blood Banks. So hopefully we can make good use of that. Well, Homing Tears make this room a little bit easier than it otherwise would be. Curse Room. We have a reroll ready. Maybe you teleport me. Maybe you just give me a free item. I'll be content either way. This run is a win waiting for a loss to happen, basically. We'll go back for that. Obviously, the, the curse room didn't necessarily work out the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. Um, when I say it's a win waiting for a loss to happen, I mean, basically, it's, it's mine to lose. I could fuck it up. You know, I'm going to be cocky and not even go back for those spirit hearts because it makes me feel better about myself. You want to try something funny? I think you do. Yeah, okay. It's a demon judgment. I don't love that. <laughs> Can we just leave? No, it's sealed up. Oh my god, I just... Uh, I'm fighting all the enemies in this room for a spirit heart and a half. It's gonna be fun, though. Ba basically, this is a recon mission, right? Like, I, I've never known anything about military intelligence. But when I say this is a recon mission, basically what I mean is... Um, we're trying to learn some stuff about Rebirth. And now we've learned, if you use a fool card to skip the boss trap room, boss rush room I should say, and then you go back in, hoping to use your judgment card to get a good item, reroll it into the rosary, and pick it up, you'll have to fight everything. So just keep that in your back pocket, a very relevant, universally uh, important piece of information there. Certainly will come in handy in your, uh, your home lives. I think we've all learned a lesson not just about rebirth, but about, uh, you know, the human condition in general. And there is a there is a positive here. We are going to be able to uh, get one more item when we finish this. Now the item historically probably has a pretty good chance to not be very good, but who knows? It could be fun. It is fun anyway. And plus, we're destroying the shit out of these enemies. We have nothing to worry about whatsoever in terms of like surviving this room. It's always nice to do like a boss rush a day. You know, keeps the doctor away. Unless you lose, in which case, you're going to need to speak to somebody, probably. Wow, that was a great uh, homing shot there. I'm not sure if you saw that. It curved upwards to hit nothing at all. Sorry, Chubb. I am digging, um... I'm digging Mom's Knife Chocolate Milk. It's the Isaac Police, Northern Line. You've made a mistake. We're here to take you away forever. The internet has decreed that uh, the punishment for this mistake shall be summary execution. I am Judge Judy and Executioner. Okay. Oh, oh there he is. Finally, we got our Game Kid effect. And it's still the Unicorn Horn effect. No, wait, this actually, this one actually was the Game Kid effect. We were chewing. I'm like Marshall McLuhan, I'm so chewing. Alright, so if we can just kill the bloat easily, that would make my life better, thank you. And then the mask is like a no-brainer. Alright, so this is basically over. I don't regret this, honestly. I think it was funny. Maybe we lost one spirit heart in the end. We do have Nun's Habit, so we, we picked up another reroll as well in case we want to use it. You know, suffice it to say, this was definitely not worth it on its own merits. Like, we're not really going to gain anything at all. We actually lost several spirit hearts in the process here. But that's half the fun, isn't it? Half the fun of Isaac is having a good run and throwing it away? I think so. 
You gotta ease up, people. You can't min-max every run and be disappointed if shit doesn't work out. You gotta do some crazy stuff on your runs sometimes. Willingly take Cursed Eye. What do we get here? The Leech. Leech is alright. I'll take it. Willingly get, uh, you know, Cursed Eye and Bob's Brain and Big Beautiful Fly and all that horse shit. And then still make it work regardless. It's a test of your metal, as far as I'm concerned. Alright. Oh, I forgot we had Mom's Purse, so we actually have two trinkets for this right now. Which I should have realized earlier, but hey, it's all good. I'm getting a little nervous about the whole no guppy. The guppy's a no-show right now. It's okay, though. Um, sincerely, though, any guppy item would basically guarantee us a win if we didn't already have one guaranteed. Which we don't. We don't have one guaranteed, but um, we're, we're close, certainly. We should be able to get a deal with the devil on this floor, and that might sort it out, especially with a... Uh, with a D6 reroll available that we're unlikely to use for literally anything else. Did I pick up the negative? I hope I picked up the negative. That is a weird <laughs> shot. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure how I feel about Spoonbender um, Mom's Knife. It's an item that, oh, we got it. It's an item that works out a little bit better in theory than it does in practice, I think, or a combination that works a little bit better in theory than it does in practice. It's all about coulda, not shoulda. Well, I'm going to shut up my mouth as we move along here. I should never complain about getting Mom's Knife. It makes me seem uh, out of touch, you know? Mo getting Mom's Knife in itself is a great gift from the uh, the Isaac pantheon of, uh, of animalistic gods, or animist gods above. Wouldn't want to make that mistake. Umbilical cord. Umbilical nigh the science. Nutritive piece of bio-tissue. You know, not every joke. I don't have a team of writers, all right? Just just me. Not every joke that makes it through the filter of my brain should have. I'll, I'll willingly admit that. Oh, okay, this is a good room for uh for homing knife at least. We're dismantling like every room we come across. I just worry that we'll get whittled down. But, you know, with the Relic, that shouldn't happen. Unless we really, really come across a terrible series of rooms. Like, one terrible room, I don't think we'll do it. It'll have to be worse than that. See, actually, the homing knife is doing some good stuff for us here. I like that little slice it does through the air, like we're throwing a boomerang or something. I'm gonna take Pinky Eye and Cartridge. Uh, I think we're a little bit past the best before date of, uh, of Bloody Penny. Normally, it's, it's best when there's a lot of blood banks, and there's a lot of blood banks in the early part of the game. We don't really want to gamble on blood banks in this part of the game. It can be a little bit more trouble than it's worth. Alright, who we got? Skolex. Seems like when you fight Pin, you're like almost guaranteed to fight Skolex later. Pinky Eye is great for us, by the way. I love that uh, trinket. If, if pressed, Pinky Eye would definitely not be my favorite trinket, but it would be up there. Really? Uh, it would probably be like top five. Wow. I'm disappointed. I really thought we had the real, uh, real shit happening. I thought we were going to become Guppy, basically. We got enough keys. I wouldn't mind this. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not being a six room as well. All right, so we'll sit here. I don't care, man. Oh, my God. You took, like, six pennies. Fuck you, donation machine. We're all out of sync here. We need to get, like, a romantic meal or something together. Recapture our fire. Baby, I'm feeling charitable. Could you open up your money slot? Tax deductible healing. I really went for it on the baby, and then I think my lack of conviction hurt me when it came to the actual soulful singing. Need to be a little drunker if I'm going to follow that one through to its logical conclusion. I just said a little drunker. Like, as if I'm I'm a little drunk right now. I like to get my buzz on before the Isaac videos. I, I find that it really helps me loosen up a little bit before rambling about total bullshit to internet strangers. And a few people that I know. Which is even harder, because then they're learning about the real me for the first time in my adult life. That is a joke, by the way. You know, know your limits, stay within it. I don't, I don't drink and, uh, and let's play. For the most part. Now, Michael L. Fox, I can't say the same for him, on the other hand. Uh, okay, look at the knife was like, I know you're in there. Freeze! Get your hands up. Quarter, please. Or, uh, Joker, please. No, two of spades? Sure, we'll use that. 
You know, I wish the Two of Spades card was real in real life, and I would use it on David Spade so we could get Joe Dirt movies four times as fast. Twice as fast. But then he'd be, like, more motivated to work, so four times as fast. There'd be, like, a synergistic benefit. Synergistic. I think it's just synergistic. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the heck? Game Kid saved me from getting wall mastered there. Much appreciated. That would have been annoying. This could just go on forever, apparently. I would do wish we had the compass. We should be moving more. We, we're very rarely getting the unicorn horn effect. Sometimes with Taurus, you get the unicorn horn effect on like every room. I don't know if it's affected to your luck stat as well as speed or what. Anyway. <clears throat> it's all good. I think when you can fly, like you seem to get it easier. Maybe because you've got easier mobility or something. I don't fudge and know, okay? What do you think I am? The free, do you think I'm Elucidator? Do I look like Platinum God to you? Thank you for the spirit hearts. I appreciate them. And I appreciate you too, game. Demon's Tail is probably better than the cartridge. Uh, hopefully it works with the relic. But even if it doesn't, I would rather have uh, black hearts than spirit hearts. Some choice dodging there. I feel pretty good about that. All right, this should be the end of the fight. Oh, that's going to help out a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Gemini and Taurus. That was really easy. So we're going down. Down. Remember, I don't want to hear any shit about uh, the fact that I didn't go to the Satan room. It doesn't have anything in it except the trip down to the next floor. That's pretty good right here, yeah. I mean, we might need that. I think this run's pretty much sorted, but... It can never hurt to have a few more black hearts. I'll have what he's having. Alright, that's a good measure for us, to be able to kill Monstro 2 so quickly. Oh, two shadows. Two black hearts. So, effectively, we got uh, one... No, we got nothing out of that room. But hey, nothing's better than sometimes you can get on that room. Wheel of Fortune. We can use that on the... Come on. We can use that on the dark room to do something, I think. I mean, we should have a really relatively easy time of getting through Satan here, let's be honest. I can't believe that he is not dead. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, I'll tell you what. How about I just go stand in your fucking face? Bad start, but they'll all die. Uh, and we'll look for some spirit arts here because we're loaded up on bombs. Nope. And no, that's fine. I can uh, I can take a hint. This is not damage I should be proud of. This damage is very preventable. I'm playing lazily because I'm strong right now. But strength is uh, fleeting, man. You know, you're not going to be uh, strong forever. You're not going to be young forever. you got to build a good support network for yourself. So, you know, when you start being unable to carry your groceries upstairs, you got someone there to carry them up for you or help you out. What do we got here? Library, probably. Book of Secrets. No thank you, sir. Kinda sucks. Hermit, Wheel of Fortune. Like, two Wheel of Fortune cards? Well, we'll take both Wheel of Fortune cards. We got How to Jump. I think that item is kind of bad as well. In this situation. It's fun if you get it and you have no other spacebar item. Come on, come on. Yeah, that is not unexpected. All right, this is pretty much where I expected to find our boss room. Let's make it happen. I'm ready, Satan. Calgon, take me away. We got a lot of things that do passive damage, like the Gemini and um, Leech. We got some ability to, to F people up here. Come on, Satan. Yeah, that was pretty good. We just did like 80% of Satan's HP with our uh, Taurus charge. I don't think we can get a second Taurus charge. I know I say... I sound like I say tourist charge. I'm not saying tourist. I'm saying tor, Taurus. Taurus. I try to enunciate and articulate as clearly as I can, at the risk of even sounding pretentious at times. People think it makes me sound like a douchebag. I've heard. All right, down to the next floor. We should have a win. Let's just put it that way. If we get Guppy, I'm going to be stoked. That's about all that could really stoke me right now. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Oh, but we got a Joker card. I know. Okay, let's put down our Devil. No, 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 my, no, my friend. Wheel of Fortune. Devil card's good for the future, but let's put these down and blow them up, and maybe we'll get like a Guppy item out of them. That's pretty good, actually. But I'm gonna use our Joker card and like get a reroll, basically. 
Hold up a second here. Kill one of them. Makes your life a lot easier. Then kill the other one. Okay. Then we're going to get a reroll. Use our Joker card. See what we got going on in there. Demon Baby. It's not very good. Headless Baby is not very good either. But now we've got like a little chest situation going on. With our next reroll, we'll be able to reroll like scapular tarot cards. If we want to. We should probably use tarot cards like once, but... That's if we want to. I mean, taking the scapular might not be the worst idea in the world. I don't think it's that good, but it might not be the worst idea. I would I would rather have it uh, as a reroll pedestal, because I doubt our HP is going to go that low, but you never know. That one, that one spirit heart might end up making a difference here. It might end up making no fucking difference at all, too. That's that's Isaac. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe go fuck yourself. It's basically Mark Wahlberg and The Departed. Which I think is what we should all aspire to be, if given the choice. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go out on I'm gonna go on record and say that even though I love Mom's Knife and I love it in its new brimstone or its new um, rebirth form, I picked up Bob's Curse by accident. Um, I think that Brimstone is actually better than Mom's Knife, new Brimstone. I think it's got cooler synergies for the most part, and I think it, it's a little bit more offensively potent as well. You're entitled to disagree with me, but I really, really like New Brimstone, in spite of its sound effect. So we'll use this once. Magician. Okay. We already have Spoonbender. Uh, Dry Baby is acceptable. And a speed plus range upgrade? I mean, it doesn't seem that bad, considering we're going to have... Um, we're gonna have like a greater chance to get Taurus charged quickly with faster speed, but I don't think it's worth uh I don't think it's worth giving up a pedestal for right now. Not this late. But dry baby's sweet. Might be my favorite baby item. Little brimstone's way up there too, though. Mostly I just like it saying the name, Lil Brimstone. It's like the name of a dog or something like that, like one of the hellhounds. Lil Brimstone. Invincibility, this is an important moment for us, and they got the job done. Oh, thank you, Relic. So the Devil card is going to be sweet as heck against our boss. I don't know if we're ever going to get to our boss, though, because it appears we're caught in uh, straight-up purgatory right now. I, it's too bad our boss is in war, because, you know, apparently we just walk right next to him and he dies. Took some dumb damage there myself, but hey, life goes on. Hey, look who it is. I was just talking about you. All right, so little brimstone is as far as uh, you know, the current point in our run goes, probably not mission critical. That being said, I'm starting to wish I'd taken the scapular to be honest with you. Um, that being said, it's pretty good. And hopefully our boss room's down here cuz oh no. I'm starting to run out of HP. Starting to get real low on that old life juice. That's the worst right there. That was really dumb. And we don't have anything else to reroll. I'm starting to think that this one just falls apart at the end here because I chose the wrong effing direction. How do we get out of this? Well, one spirit heart drop from the relic would go a little way. And then the devil card allows us to do so much damage. And then you just, uh, oh no. Well, missing page did like the Necronomicon effect. Oh shit, we don't... We don't have any, like, recourse here, man. Oh, thank you for the invincibility. Relic. Nope, okay. Gotta not take damage. That's gonna be hard. Oh, thank you. No relic charge again. Okay. Gotta not take damage. That scared the shit out of me. What are you doing? What are you freaking doing, you home in tears? Oh, thank God. We got a little extra. Leech gave us a little extra there. Can't take damage here. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Oh, that was so bad. Relic? Nothing from the... Re Are we going to beat... That's what we're going to do? We're going to beat the lamb without taking damage? Yeah, okay. I'll see you in fucking Forever Town where you seem to live. Magical Mysteryville. I think a, a lack of care has cost me here. I got a little too cocky. So that's... The reason I'm coming to this room is because I think there's a better chance of me beating this room... Only getting a hit, or not not getting hit at all, and then getting a relic charge, probably, than there is of um, of me beating the lamb without getting hit. No relic charge either. Wow. And that's the end of our f 
fudge and floor. Okay, well, um, we got 42 bombs. So what you do in this case is you look for some secret rooms. There's one. It's fantastic! Leech, work with me here, buddy. The quarter is pretty big for us right now. That's gonna be a real barn burner. And uh, I guess then we walk into absolutely every room and search every orifice for um, for a second secret room. If we can get the invincibility on the lamb fight, we could probably win. If we can't, well, we're we're not in a great place then. I can take one damage against like a fly, so I'm not loving our odds here. One room full of red hearts would save our butt, though. This is comical at this point. Uh, at least you got a number of different uh, possible opportunities over here. And then one here, and then like two over here. It's alright, I'll wait. Don't worry about me. Tell you what, I'll even toss another bad boy down right there. Didn't think it would be there, but hey, worth a crack, right? Um, okay, well, we still got a few more possible locations here. That bomb is going to be the death of me one day. Try here, and then here if we need to. Oh my god, we'll even try here, even though I doubt it'll be here, but big rooms might change it slightly. Okay, we're really running out of hope here. I can't believe we... Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Hand. Are you alive? I'm okay. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for the coffee. It's the magic juice I need for this final fight. Oh my god, it really was on that last room. Oh, okay, this could be big. Lovers. That's uh, maybe a game winner right there. World. Justice. Huh? Lady <laughs> exactly. Two of clubs. So we can have a, a strength and a devil card. I think that's what we want. So we got a magician. No, that'll be the devil. And then a strength card. Strength Devil, got it, okay. Why did Lovers only give us one HP? I used it, right? Where did it go? <laughs> did I lose it somehow? I don't understand. Maybe I took damage on something. So as soon as we get in here, Strength card, boom. I took Strength in the world? Oh my god. Let there be throws on Earth and let them begin with me. Dude, you're in a bad place. Oh, now we're in a bad... Oh, we're in a dead place, probably. Oh, no! We're still alive! If I had just taken Scapular, I would have won. Oh, my God, I'm so sad. Thanks for watching, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. i got to get myself out of this funk. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.